all right hey guys welcome back to my channel this video here is for my Aquarius this is going to be love and relationships 2020 for the month of July predictions I'm going to start off with the romance cards here let's start off and get the overall energy for my Aquarius for the month of July of relationships please overall energy for my Aquarius so So the first card we have is Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. We have This Could Be the One. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And we have Keep an Open Mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Let's go this over here. Alright, so let's go ahead and clarify. I'm sure you can see that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and clarify with the... Um, Raider deck here. Can we clarify the retreat card here for my Aquarius for the month of July 2020? Love and relationships, please. Alright, so show me what we're looking for. Okay, so to start out here, we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Magician. And the Nine of Pentacles. I'm trying to make sure you can see here, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, off the top what I'm seeing is it looks like you're, um, with the Queen of Swords, you're a very intelligent person, you're very compassionate. You can be very loving, very caring um, towards someone. But you're, you always are kind of like in a defensive mode and you kind of have a wall up. And it could be something that had to do with the past here that's causing you to be that way. So right now it looks like you're not really ready um, to fall in love with someone. And so that may be why this retreat card is here. It's time to disconnect from the world. It looks like you're trying to manifest yourself into like more of the Nine of Pentacles energy. So you may be working on like uh, your business or um, your fine finances, uh, maybe um, trying to move up on the ladder and uh, where you work. You may be going from like one position to another position, maybe um, from a sales rep to uh, a manager or something like that. Um, but it does look like your energy is focused right now on uh, leveling up, making yourself better, making your finances better. Um, and it all has to do with this situation here, with you being the Queen of Swords, um, and that Queen of Swords energy, and you reflecting on the past. So maybe something um, might have happened in your past relationship. Maybe you felt like um, you were thrown off course, and that you needed to get back on course um, of building your business or building your empire for yourself. Um, so that's what it looks like is going on here. So definitely retreat if that's what you're doing. Definitely kind of take a break from the world, maybe social media, things like that. Um, you know, they a lot of times they say, don't make all of your moves. The, the How do they say it? The loudest person. That, I, I don't, I can't even remember the saying, I'm sorry. But like, uh, you have to learn to move in silence. You know, move in silence. Don't attract all of that attention. Retreat. Maybe you stop posting on uh, Facebook for a while or stop posting on um, Instagram or uh, Twitter, you know, put that stuff down for a while. Maybe you need to just take a break from that and just focus on your business um, or on your uh, finances, you know, just quit being on social media and stuff like that. Maybe, maybe you're trying to like uh, prove to somebody like, hey, look, I'm doing better, yada, yada, yada. You know, you don't always have to put that out there. Just if you move in the dark, best believe they'll see you once you get to where you, um, where you're shooting for. You know, they, they see you. You don't have to yell it out and get the attention, is what I'm saying. Alright, so this could be the one. Let's, um, try not to knock on the cards. Let's clarify here for this could be the one for my Aquarius. July predictions, love and relationship, 2020. Two more. Y'all. So, yeah. So let's see, we have the Temperance, 
we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. And we have the Moon card. So this off top tells me that this could be the one. This person looks very balanced. Looks very ba balanced. Whoever this is with this temperance card, they look very spiritually in tune, very, um, very balanced and very like straight. Like they 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 went through any type of healing, any type of um, past relationships that they ever had to get through. They learned from them. They grew from from them. And that's what made them the person that they are today. Um, so they do look like they're ready to invest in something that's worth growing. You see what I'm saying? Um, so whoever this is, is a very temperance, calm, uh, meditative type, spiritually type of energy. Someone that when you meet them, they're like, they may have like some of the deepest conversations you've ever heard of like in your life. You're like, wow, like I didn't realize people thought like this. I didn't realize people were in tune like this, you know, because with this card here, you see how it has like the, the exaggeration around the, the, the head is like them uh, being so, I guess the term, the terminology that we would use today is so woke, um, with their with who they are with their presence with their their inner spirituality this person is very woke with that and they're they're always constantly looking at how they could um, grow and make themselves better uh, or like if they were in a relationship they would uh, they would come to you and say you know well what could I do to make this relationship better for us you know what could I do to fix this part to make this work you know so this person whoever it is in your life if they haven't came in there yet then uh, just be looking out for them you they're not a very loud person they're not gonna be loud to get your attention because they seem very subtle very calm uh, very collected uh, but they're definitely a person that's willing to grow something with you now I do see here with the five of swords in reverse and the deception card um, whoever this is, this person, they, if they, if there's something that they need to talk to you about, they'll speak with you about it with the five of, uh, five of sword. I mean, oh, forgive me, five of wands in reverse. They're willing to talk to you about it. They don't want to sit there and argue for hours on end and go back and forth and knick knack, patty whack, give a dog a bone type of stuff. Like they're like, okay, we're going to sit here. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get it out. We're not going to have any secrets here with the moon card. We're not going to have any deception, any type of lies. I'm going to be open. I'm going to be honest. We're going to resolve this, and we're going to get past this. And let me do one more clarifying card. Yeah. Yeah. They, they want to resolve it, and they want to get past it. So especially with the Five of Wands and the deception card, if, if, if something comes up and they feel like they need to talk about it, they're going to talk about it with you. No matter how it's going to rub you, how it's going to uh, make you feel, they, they want to put it out there. Because they don't want any type of secrets, any type of deception going on um, in between you guys. But afterwards, they want, they'll want acknowledge you and let you know, like, hey, I love you. You know, we're doing this because I care about you. You know, because we're here together. You see what I'm saying? This person isn't going to leave you hanging. This is a very honest and trustworthy person, whoever this is. It may be someone that you have in your life that you may not be thinking about or some maybe like a, a friend that calls you on your you know your shit you know what I'm saying uh, that could be that person that could be the one for you but we're gonna keep truck so let's see keep an open mind let's see let me clarify here keep an open mind yes, 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 yes. so let's keep an open mind now we have the hierophant we have the Judgment, we have the Six of Wands, and the King of Swords. 
So with keep an open mind, I see someone with the Hierophant in the judgment. This person, whoever this is, is coming in your life. They're, they're, they are serious. They want a serious relationship. They don't have time to play games. They don't have time to sit here and, and be like, oh, we boyfriend, girlfriend one day, and we broken up the next day. This person is coming in with a mission. Look, they, the, the Hierophant, they're committed. They want a commitment. That's what they want. The judgment. They're going to acknowledge it. Hey, look, I'm serious. This is what we're going to do. If we're going to be in a relationship, we're going to be in a relationship. We're going to make this stuff work. And this person is going to have a lot of respect for you. They're going to cherish you. They're going to uh, uh, make you feel like you're on top of the world. They're very respectful. So, you know, and even with the King of Swords here, and this person is going to be like, how can I say it? They're going to care about you a lot, but they're, they may not show it because they're kind of like hardened on the outside. And they may have like a wall up, so it may take some time to get to know them and things like that. But they're not going to be shy of letting you know that they want a commitment. But this person, they're also looking for something that's more than just a physical attraction. They want something that they can mentally, um, you know, mentally relate to like they want somebody that's because the king of swords is a very intelligent person so when it comes to them they have to like they want their mind to be stimulated like it's not just about sleeping around and things like that like they they have deep conversations and again that's where this temperance is coming from they want to have deep conversation because their thoughts are like deep super deep it's not just that oh well what did you do today? Like it's, they make you think, they make you go into thought and like actually have a drawn out conversation. Like you can talk about things that you've never thought you would talk about before. Okay. So on to, let's get some advice for my Aquarius here. Advice for my Aquarius, July 2020, love and predictions. And let's clarify an advice. I want the advice to my shuffles. All right, let's see what we got here. So we got the opportunity beckons. This to me, I feel like this belongs to this deck here. It's letting you know that there's opportunities out there. So whatever you over here manifesting, you trying to be this nine of uh, nine of pentacles energy. That opportunity is there for you. You claim it, you're manifesting it, it's going to come to you. Keep manifesting. Don't give up on it. Keep manifesting that. That's what you want. That's what you're going to get. You put it into the universe, the universe is going to give it to you. Love abounds. This means to give out that love energy. Give out that love energy that's around you. Um, anything that does not serve you, let it go. Um, because it can prevent you from finding that love in your life. Um, and just kind of focus on your beautiful, um, loving qualities. Like, you know, how you radiate, how beautiful you are, how 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 intelligent you are in, in your goals in life. Let that radiate. Because love is going to attract to you with that. And that's what's attracting this person. This person is so intelligent that they're attracted to your intelligence here. They're, they're in awe about you. They're like, wow, you know, I can see this person being someone I want to be committed to. It's just right now, you, you can't see them because it's, they may be directly in your face or this person could be someone you've never met yet. You just haven't ran into them. But when you do, you'll know. You'll know. We also have balance. Make sure you're balancing your life with um, the relationship once it comes into effect. Make sure you're finding balance. Make sure you guys are balancing with each other. Make sure you show the same amount of energy that this person shows to you. Don't go over the top. You know, if they if they come 25, you come 25. You know, just stay balanced. And then I have flow for you. So when this does come into your life, just let it flow. Don't rush it. Allow it to ha um, happen in the process that it's going. Like if you feel like it's going slow, just be patient. Let it go slow again. This is a King of Swords energy. So they're not really going to be just like, oh my God, I love you. Like they're not going to just come out and say it. But when it's time for them to commit, when when they feel that, in, that the energy is right and the universe is letting them know, 
it's time for them to commit, you won't have to hesitate because they're going to let you know. But anyways, that's all I have for you today, Aquarius. Um, if this resonates with you, make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.